Hey everyone, this is Towley with TGN.TV and welcome to State of the Towley Episode Dos. Episode 2, baby, Barack O'Towley, the People's Paladin, giving you the answers to the questions you wanted to know most about. And uh, I got about 56 questions uh, in the past week and a half since I've done the video. So I took the top 25 questions, and that's what we're going to be answering on the show. Um, also note, at the end of the show, I will be showing you guys the grand finale of the Hengis versus Towley duel with a bit of commentary at the end. And uh, you're going to want to stay tuned for that. I know half of you are probably like, fuck this show. I'm going right to the end of the video watching it. And then please just rewind it. There were some funny questions um, this couple of weeks anyway. Um, let's just get right to it. Let's not waste any time because there's 25 questions, which is almost like 25 minutes if I take a minute to answer each one. All right, let's go. Continue. Uh, question one. Hey! Exclamation mark. As I've watched lots of your vids, I really want to know what set of add-ons are you using? Would help a lot. Thank you. Question number two. What do you think is better for a prop paladin? Mastery or stamina, or is it another stat which is better? Um, Osama Marwa asked that question. Uh, uh, mastery is definitely superior in endgame content, hard modes. Uh, from my experience, I've compared World of Logs from uh, having a full stamina set to having a full mastery set. As long as you are unhittable and block capped in your mastery set, then you will always take less overall damage than if you had a heavy stamina set. That's for sure. And sometimes you just want maybe want to find a balance between the two. That's also good to do. But right now, currently, my Paladin is uh, in raid buffs and everything. Elixir of Mastery, etc. I am 102.6%, so I'm past the block cap, so I never take a full hit. Uh, if you guys want more information on Unhittable, go to HolyShield.com. I have a few articles in there on uh, my Unhittable status, the gear that I wear. Uh, number three, is leveling a rogue worth it? Uh, they seem they seem kind of pointless end game. Also, what software do you use to record your videos? That was two questions, by the way. I see what you did there. Uh, I use Sony Vegas 10 um, to uh, edit my videos to record. I use Fraps. Uh, it's a free program, but in order to get the full, um, I guess whatever you know, 50, 60. I mean, to get the full length of the videos, because if you if you only have the evaluation period uh, version of Fraps, then you could only record like I think like two minutes of video. Or something like that. Um, is leveling a rogue worth it? I don't know. I've never like leveled a rogue. Actually, I do have a rogue. I have a rogue who's level 70. And um, I had fun leveling it. Uh, me and my girlfriend were leveling it together. She she was actually leveling a paladin. I was leveling a rogue. We switched sides because she used to be a rogue back in vanilla. That's besides the point. Uh, is it worth it? I don't know. Are they good in endgame? Yeah, they're good for a lot of fights. Definitely. Number four. Matthew Morris asks, what computer do you use? Um, very simple. I have an uh, i5. Uh, with 6 gigs of RAM, uh, GTX 460 uh, video card, 23-inch, uh, uh, what is this, LG, LCD, G15 keyboard, uh, Razer Naga Epic, and uh, that's about it for my computer. One terabyte hard drive, an extra terabyte hard drive for, you know, tentacle porn. Uh, let's see, question number five, Corey Shields asks, I'm currently leveling my Shaman who is level 74. Uh, with no BOAs and all that bullshit, that's what he literally said. Uh, with all the BGs I have done uh, when I was at lower level, I was getting my ass handed to me by people with full BOA gear, which I think they shouldn't even have BOA gear in the first place because it's not good for newcomers uh, to WoW getting their asses handed to them. Because I have a friend who just got WoW like a little over a month ago, and when me and him went into the first BG, <laughs> he got one hit all the time. And my question is, what is your opinion uh, with having BOAs in the game? Who just sent me a message? Hey, Tally, sorry to bother you, but do you have a minute? I have a quick question for you. Uh, if you're watching this as you're doing that, uh, I'll answer your question later sometime. Uh, <laughs> but um, the question is, once again, what is your opinion with having BOAs in the game? Um, BOAs definitely make leveling easier. Uh, my Tally on Sargeras transferred from Death Rock to Sargeras with full BOAs and only took me five four five days played to actually level to eight from 10 to 85 so boas are very strong and in pvp they're even stronger if you're just starting off your character from scratch with no boas whatsoever you're going to have a hard time but you could definitely make do you know you scrap up a little bit of gold here and there you know a couple of silver you can get yourself some green weapons that you know uh, honestly when it comes to low end uh level bgs you know, it's more about who has the better gear, you know, who's twinking themselves out more. But, um, 
do, would I want BOAs in the game? No, I don't think BOAs belong in the game whatsoever. Um, BOAs should probably only be available uh, from like 80 to 85, or at least 70 to 85. You shouldn't be able to use them in lower levels, especially if you want to be competitive in Battlegrounds. Uh, question six. My question to you, Tally, is what inspired you to become a prop paladin from the start? This is Danny. His tune's name is Extraction, level 65, Torn Prop Paladin, Server Akama. Um, well, I started my warrior tank in a beta, and then when WoW came out, I became a warrior tank. Cliche, I know. A uh, human warrior at the time. And uh, basically, what I wanted to do was I just wanted to tank. Uh, I love tanking. I got into a dead mines, and I started tanking. I never looked back. Um... I joined a, a raiding guild. They told me they were a raiding guild. I said, you guys need a tank. You know, I learned the theory crafting. I became a warrior. And I tanked from Molten Core all the way to um, to uh, Next 40. We only downed like six, seven bosses in Next 40. So we didn't really complete the entire instance. Uh, because by the time Next 40 came out, Burning Crusade was going to come out like six months later. So there wasn't that much time for progression. And a lot of people in my guild quit. So after that was over, I heard that Paladins were going to be, you know, Blood Elves on the Horde side. And I thought to myself, well, you know, I heard Paladins might be viable tanks in the future during a developer uh, chat they were having. And then I was like, sure, why not? Let me just try a Paladin tank. Let me level a Blood Elf Paladin all the way to um, to 70 and let's see what happens. So I did that, and I basically just wanted to try a new tank. I thought Warrior got a little boring there in between uh, the end of uh, Classic and the start of the Burning Crusade. And I created Tally the first day of the Burning Crusade, and here he is right there in front of you. But um, let's see, next question, number seven. Hi, Tally, I have a question for you. What is your character with PvP armor in the video, The Return of Tally? Is it the same on Kill Jaden? And I know my English is bad. I'm French-Canadian. TKs for your answer, Alex, Dwar, Laughing Skull. Well, happy French fries to you, sir. Parlez-vous français, je m'appelle Tauli. Did I say that right? I don't know. Um, I don't really even know. <laughs> the return of the Tauli. Was that my Kill Jaden character? Yeah, that was, I think, I believe that was my Kill Jaden. That was the one that was hitting for like 56k and uh, constant 44, 45k Inqua Booms, and that was my Kill Jaden Tauli. Uh, question 8, hello, I have a question for you. Hello. Uh, could you please post a video about your macros, especially focus macros that you use? That's all. Keep up the good work. Loving your videos. Best regards from Norway. Um, yeah, I guess. Um, I can whip up something pretty soon, you know, about uh, macros there. Let's see. Number nine. Craig asks, tune, prop paladin PvP gear. That was actually, you were supposed to tell me what, um, you know, your tune. Server, the venture company, uh, Euro Alliance. My question is, I've been playing Prop Pally for a few months now, and I want to start doing some PvE. The problem is I'm ha having is I don't know where to start getting gear. All my current gear is Bloodthirsty PvP. I have like 1k gold, so I can't afford to buy PvE starter gear, and I'm pretty sure if I tried uh, some normal Cata Dungeons with PvP armor on, I'm not going to do very well. Where should I start? Actually, that is incorrect. If you actually do normal dungeons... Uh, like Grim Batol and Tolvir in your PvP Bloodthirsty gear, uh, you'll do just fine, uh, as long as it's not heroic. On normal, you could definitely do those. You'll definitely survive. Just, you know, learn how to blow your cooldowns. Uh, do as much damage as you possibly can. Don't, you know, if you have any PvE pieces from leveling up whatsoever, use those. That would be my suggestion to you. Uh, I also, on HolyShield.com, once again, I have a guide on a 333 tanking set from normals before you even enter heroics. That'll uh, get you prepared there. Number 10, Chris asks, uh, his actually tune name is Holy Chris, 85 Blood Elf Paladin, server Shadow Moon. Number 1, can you show us some of your ults? Number 2, can you make an ult on US Shadow Moon? Part 1, no. Uh, oh, no, excuse me, part 2, no. Part 1, sure, I'll show you some of my ults. Let's see here, let's... um. Let's log out. Uh, you guys should be watching the screen now. I have uh, Plumper Pumper. That's This is my uh, Druid tank. He's level 85. Uh, if we go on Death Rock, I have Lichong, which is my 70 Rogue. That's the one that I leveled, not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. That's all BOAs he's wearing. Uh, weapons. Birdie Bert. This is my. This here is the legend. This is a living legend right here. You are watching him. Um, this is my vanilla classic warrior. Uh, I've, I did a little bit of ICC with him. That's a 277 weapon uh, from gunship he's wearing. He's got the shield from 10 man. Who cares? He's ungilded. I'm probably going to move him somewhere. I don't know. Uh, these are names I reserved. Uh, Captain Worgen, You the Man Now Dog, and Potshot. On, um, let's see, Sargeras. 
I have Tally. This is my alt Tally from Tally's World Order. Tally owns you. This is my female level one gnome that I log on to um, mock and curse at. And you know when you know how you create a level one and you go on to the other faction to curse out people or to troll them. Tally owns you on Star Jarrus. That's what they do. Um, let's see. A Netheron. I have something here. Tank Master 33 Warrior. I don't know where this fucking guy came from. I never this this is way back in the day right here. This is vanilla. I don't know why I created him. Um Spirestone. This is my DK tank Rick Roll level 85. He's on the same server as Hengist. So we're gonna be doing some videos together soon. Maybe some heroic, some dungeons, some raids, who knows? We're gonna be doing some shit. Um, all these are just level one characters that I use to talk to uh, guild leaders that are friends of mine. Uh, other than that, those are pretty much my alts. Let's uh, let's get back on uh, Kill Jaden here, back on the master. A little bit of a cold today. I, don't know. I woke up like oh, for Clint. Uh, Eleven, Kyle Parker, Slayster, Nerzul, PvP, Slayster, nice name, very original. First of all, I would like to say you're my hero. But here's my question for your State of the Tally videos. What do you think is the best duo in Arena? Or what do you prefer your partner to be? Since I'm a prop paladin. And also, I'm very curious as to what you thought was the best class to partner up with. Another thing. Since you were talking about making another tune on another server. I was thinking you could come to Nerzul. It's a very good PvP server. Especially for Horde. It is very Horde heavy. And queues are not that bad. TGN is on its way to something great. Especially with you, Big C, and Hengist. Y'all keep it up. Keep it fresh. Kyle. What's up, dog? Um, so but that first part of the question, I love to play with Feral Druids, number one. Feral Druids are my favorite to play with. Um, I, I hit like 2100 the first week of arenas with a Feral Druid, and then he went to Australia somewhere, and I never saw him again. But I haven't found another Feral Druid to play with. Uh, Feral Druid, Enhanced Shaman, uh, Resto Druid uh, a little bit, but Resto Druids take way, way, way too long to like, you know to do fights with they're like 50 40 30 minute battles i don't like it but feral druid top of the line like if hengist i would pay hengist okay i'll tell you right now hengist if you're watching i would fucking pay your druid to transfer to kill Jaden. faction change the horde and we'll do arenas together all the way all the fucking way you heard it right here i would pay for your shit to come here let me know um let's see number 12 hey tally what is your favorite wow title please let me know my favorite wow title is actually the one I am currently wearing, which is none. Why am I not wearing a title? Um, where is it? Herald of the Titans is my actual favorite, 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 favorite title. Why? Because it actually means something. Uh, for me, mounts and titles, for me to actually wear them, they have to mean something. Uh, Herald of the Titans is uh, you have to defeat uh, Algalon in Ulduar with uh, no more than like I level 226 gear and your weapons and your shield can be uh, hard mode 10 old war which I think was 239 if I remember correctly so I mean you can't cheat your way out of that fight there's no way to cheese that fight you can't stack certain people you just have to have fast timing skill to actually defeat Herald of the Titans I haven't seen many people on, even on this server with Herald of the Titans uh, I don't like Blackwing's Bane. I don't like anything else. But Herald of the Titans is one of my favorite. And uh, Mary Maker Tally. <laughs> uh, number, what are we? 13. Name is Jesse. Um, Holy Face Punch. <laughs> That's a nice name. Holy Face Punch. Server Black Hand Alliance. Tally, my question is. Was your What was your average item level when you were able to successfully AoE tank heroics? Your videos are great. Keep it up, Jesse. Uh, Jesse, my average item level was about... 239, 240-ish around there when I was able to successfully AoE uh, without any guildies or whatnot. 14. Hey, bud, I'm Brian. And I actually, <laughs> and I actually, I hope, th trust me, this is not my bad grammar. <laughs> and I actually, I hope this is a rather simple question and one you haven't had to answer a lot. Wow. I have tunes on two different servers because uh, my gaming clan, clan has two factions. I started with the Alliance side, and that's where most of my tunes are. 84, 64, 60, and a couple of others. Uh, Tychondrius, Rep Pally, but I've been playing mostly recently on McTheridon, Main Prot, blah, blah, blah. Let's get to the question. My question, since I know you've done some character transfers lately, and I have never done one, I want to take my Dwarf Hunter and move him to Mag and switch factions to Troll or Orc. 
packing all the BOAs I have along. Can that be in one action or is it two separate actions? Uh, for me, it's always been two separate. It's always been a transfer. Then I have to go back and then do a, a, a faction change. I've never actually seen a faction change offered for me in a server transfer. Uh, by the way, keep the vids coming. Really enjoy them. You give me a great laugh in the middle of my workday. But just ignore the stupid people <laughs> that got upset because you were playing Rift. Heck, do what you want. I'll enjoy you when you're around. Apostrophes, dude. Apostrophes. All right. Have a good day, bud. Thank you. 15. First, Cromar. I miss him. I miss Cromar too. Where the fuck are you? Cromar, where are you? Where are you? Like, I wish you could go back in time and find out what the fuck happened to him. Ah, I'm just kidding. Cromar's doing Rift videos right now. He's do working on other projects. Pro there's probably real life stuff going on. I'm not sure. Uh, I would love for Cromar to make another or keep making WoW videos. His shit was always legit. He knew, like, every class. He studied the ladies' jerks a lot. And um, his early Cataclysm uh, DPS series was, like, one of the, like, the best series out there on YouTube. <sighs> Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number 16, Tom. Um, hot shit. Say hot shit while eating crackers, and that's how you pronounce his name. Hot shit. Ravencrest. Are you going to name your show PST? Yeah, I saw that one coming. No, I'm not going to name myself, my, uh, name myself PST. Uh, I was going to name it uh, Slash Whisper. Um, slash DND. A couple of other things, but no, not Slash PST. By the way, props to Lore. Love you, dog. Sell out. Just kidding. Um, number 17. Towel, did you make remote wage quit? <laughs> Why the fuck do we got to ask these questions all the time? Did you make remote wage quit? The dude was making TGN videos for like three weeks. Get over it. Did I make him quit? No. I'm pretty sure that um, since while the time that we had the whole remote wage situation, um, myself, Big C, we all banned a lot of trolls that just kept spamming and spamming the crap out of the uh, TGM members. So those trolls migrated to remote wages channel. And instead of, you know, Watching remote, remote Wages videos and complimenting, you know, his style and everything. People just kept asking him to diss me and diss me. Diss Tally, diss Tally. Say Tally, you can fuck off, blah, blah, blah. Remote Wages didn't want to do any of that. So I'm pretty sure he just locked his account, closed his account for YouTube, maybe until a further date. I don't know. I've never talked to the guy. Um, all I know is I did take a jab at him in my videos uh, because he started this experiment that people paid money, transferred over to... You know, this server that he was on, Angerville Mall or whatever it was on. And, um, you know, after level 17 doing his experiment, uh, he quit. And after that, um, myself and a few other TGM members were getting spammed in-game asking, where the fuck is remote wage? Where the fuck is remote wage? We paid $25 to transfer to a server to play with him. Now he's not online ever. His guild is only 5, 10 people logged on. Now there's no one logged on. So there was a whole drama going on with that. But uh, did I make him quit? No, he quit on his own. He quit on by his damn self. And, um... You know, if you know, sometimes you can't take the heat. Get out of the fucking kitchen. You know, if if you can't take people trolling you or you know people spamming you and shit like that, then you probably don't belong on YouTube or you don't belong to be. You know, you don't probably deserve to be some sort of personality out there. I do hope he comes back though. His videos were pretty legit. I was actually the one who first recruited Remote Wage, just to set the record straight. Uh, I saw his videos and I sent him over to Big C. I said, Big C, we need this fucking guy. But then all that shit went down. And but in the end, did I make him quit? No. The right teen. Hey, Tally, I'm a big fan of your PvP videos, and it really got me into PvP. I don't play much, and I've been trying to get gear. But because I don't play much, it just seems I've been fucked from the start. I haven't even gotten enough conquest points for a two-handed weapon. So he's red, huh? Damn shame. I know that arena is good for quank, uh, quankest points. Like I, the jersey just came out of there. The conquest point. The conquest. Good for conquest points, but there's a fucking limit. What can I do? Uh, do arenas every week. All you have to do is play, win five games every week. That's it. Five, five, win five games every week. And that's all you have to do to get conquest point capped in two weeks. You get your 359 two hander. It's not that hard, dude. Come on. Uh, Tally, who is your favorite tune? Tally, uh, Tally, what is your favorite shield? Oh, my favorite shield is definitely, I'm going to fly down and show you guys. Oh my god, I am zoomed in. I must zoom out because I am getting fucking dizzy watching this shit here. My favorite shield. Let me look at my shield collection here. It's not that big, but I kept a few of the ones that I like a lot. Ah, there it is. The Drill Burler disc. I believe it drops off of Gar in Molten Core. Um, my warrior has it, but I did it on Tally um, the second he hit 70 because I needed to have it on him. 
But yeah, this is by far my favorite fucking shield. I don't know why. I love the shield. It spins. The shield. They spin. They spin. They spin. They spin. I love it. It's awesome. That was a, a quote of Chris Rock, by the way. In no way was I being racist or derogatory toward African Americans. That's just a Chris Rock bit. Fucking sue me. I know some people were like, oh my god, racist. He said a Chris Rock thing. He said, you know, the ghetto version of the N word. Controversy. Controversy. Um, let's see. How is hard mode and cataclysm compared to Rift? Uh, Rift uh, hard modes suck uh, for raiding. Uh, Rift uh, raids are fairly easy. Um, they don't require much skill whatsoever. Um, you know, there's you know that guild called uh, Stay Small Nerds. It's like a bunch of Vodka and Exodus players that play Rift now. You know, they're like, oh, we're the best. We got world first to this boss. I'm like, yeah, that shit was fucking simple. I don't even know why you're even bragging about that shit. Uh, where do you live? California. Uh, number 23. Who would win in the duel, you or Dante? Who the fuck is Dante? I think I saw Dante post like one video of this guy. I'm like, all right. So, you know, he's doing the whole camera live thing. And, you know, he's very like I asked a bunch of warriors on Kill Jaden who are really good. Um, a few gladiators that I know somewhere in my guild. I asked them, do you guys know who Dante is? And they're like, uh, no clue, dude. I'm like, all right, me neither. Because people keep asking me, dual Dante, dual Dante. I'm like, whatever, dude. If I, and then I looked that he was a Fury Warrior or an Arms Warrior or whatever. I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, I might lose to a Fury Arms Warrior. Uh, Tally, what is your time played on Tally? Um, let's see, slash played. Uh, 340 days, 8 hours, 10 minutes, and 32 seconds. 33, 34, 35, 36. Okay. Um, last question, number 25. When are you and Big C doing a show together? You two will be a riot. I don't know. I got to talk to Curtis about that shit. Because, I mean, Big C's a fuck. Have you seen this fucking comedy bit? Oh, my God. Like, when I first saw the beginning of it, he was like, oh, there's this there's tragedy going on out there. And I'm thinking, oh, this is a Japan thing. Don't go there, Curtis. Don't do a Japan joke. Not now. This ain't the time. You got to let it marinate. And uh, he just goes with, so Charlie Sheen. Oh, I lost it, man. Charlie Sheen. Oh, that was great. Curtis is a great stand-up comedian. And uh, me and him on a show together would be explosive. It would be like the fucking Opie and Anthony and shit of, like, wow online live shows. But, um... That's it. That's all the questions we have on uh, State of the Tally. So um, basically, that's what I do every show. Uh, you guys can email me at roberto at tgn.tv. Um, oh, and just to clear some questions from the last video where I did a webcam, um, I'm not Mexican. Um, yeah, I'm a little on the big bone side. If you guys want to taste some of my gravy, let me take a steak knife, open up my thighs, and pour it over your face. Um, let's see. What else? That's about it. But a state of the tally, basically a weekly show, uh, bi weekly, bi weekly. I'll post one every two weeks, maybe once every week, depends if I have the time. And uh, I'm basically answering your questions. Ask me whatever you want. It could be wow related, it could be non wow related. You know, tally, what's a plumper pumper? Oh, you know, I can answer that for you. You know, you can ask me anything, it could be derogatory, it could be bad. I don't know, it doesn't matter to me. You know, I just answer all questions. Uh, I love answering, uh, you know, the fans' questions. Like I said, I am the people's paladin, Barack O. Tally. Okay, and uh, this has been Towley with TGN.TV, uh, Facebook.com slash Towley. You guys, uh, please go there, hit the uh, like, and become a fan of that page. That's wrong. If you guys ever want to know when I'm live streaming, when I'm doing BGs, when I'm doing anything, I always post it on my fan page on Facebook and on Twitter. Twitter.com slash the Tank. Holyshield.com. Holyshield.com now has a live stream button. So you guys just hit the live stream and bam, you're right there. You're watching me live when I'm doing my raids every night. If I decide that sometimes I don't do um, you know, commentary on my raids because I actually have to fucking concentrate. But um, yeah, so right after this video, this little part ends here, you're going to go right to the Hengus versus Towley um, finale. I'm going to actually show you the, the actual you know fight from beginning to end. It was pretty cool. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the show. This has been State of the Tally, Episode 2. Peace out.